I'm Bryce Tomlinson from AHeartToWitness.com, and this is Mind Power. Video editing can be both a rewarding and frustrating experience at times. Many people focus all their attention on how their video looks and never on how it sounds. But film schoolers will tell you that what you hear is most often more important than what you see. With this in mind, today I'd like to show you how to use Magic's Movie Edit Pro version 15 Plus and Samplitude 11 Pro to make your video sound its best. Remember that these techniques can be applied to many different audio and video packages. I just happen to like Magic software the best. Most video editing packages come with fairly decent audio features, but really, they're made to perform miracles with video, not audio. The fact that you're able to edit audio at all is a plus, but real film studios don't master their audio using video software. For this example, I'm going to work on the audio of last week's MindPower episode. If I wanted to, I could just take the audio files from this episode and drag them into Samplitude, but then I'd have to go to all the trouble of syncing up the audio to the video again, and that's just a mess. So what we do is called soloing out tracks. This is done by clicking on the solo button, the little S located to the far left of each of the tracks in the timeline mode. This effectively mutes all the other tracks and sets you up for either playback or exporting of that track by itself. To export a single audio track, click on the solo button and then go up to your file menu. Select export movie, then audio as wave. Before you save your files, click on the folder browse button next to the file name and create a folder to put all your work files into. Staying organized will help you retain your sanity, something I have very little of left to lose. I've created a folder here called Audio Work 2, and I'm going to store all my media files into that. Since the audio I'm saving first is my voiceover, I'm going to call it VoiceOver. Click Save. Before you export, decide whether you need to click the Normalize box so that your volume levels will be at their maximum. In this case, I'm going to Normalize. Click OK and Movie Edit Pro will export that track. Make sure you unclick the solo button after you're done so that this track will not be included in any of the other tracks you're trying to solo out. You will want to repeat this process for every track that you have audio on. Now it's time to fire up Samplitude 11 Pro. Create a new multi-track project and for starters I'm going to use the project template for 8 Stereo Track 8IO. This should give us plenty of space to work with for most projects. In the Sample Rate drop-down, select 48,000 Hz. Click OK. In the Manager, browse to the folder you saved your audio tracks into and drag them, one by one, into the tracks in the timeline, right at the beginning, at the zero second mark. Now we're ready to start editing. Since the first track I've got here is a voiceover, we're going to do some effects to it that will make it stand out above all the other background stuff going on. But before we can do that, we need to get rid of any background noise that the microphone might have picked up so that we don't end up just cranking up a bunch of noise. Let's click on our first track to select it, zoom in and find a spot in the audio that seems to be quiet for a second. It looks quiet at first, but on closer analysis, it's obvious there's some serious noise going on. Check it out. So we put the mouse in universal mode by clicking on the mouse arrow icon in the toolbar and select the range by dragging the mouse across the quietest part we see. Now go up to your effects menu, select restoration and click on get noise sample. Double click the top of the timeline to get rid of the range selection and then go up to your effects menu again, select restoration and click denoiser. In the noise sample drop down, select noise sample X turn. Now there are lots of other settings you can experiment with here, but for now, I'm just going to click OK. Once Samplitude is done cutting out the noise, give it a listen to see what it sounds like. The next thing we're going to do is add gated compression to the voiceover so that it will sit dynamically on top of the other tracks. Go to the Effects menu, select Dynamics, and click on Advanced Dynamics in the Presets drop-down. Select the Vocals Speak Louder preset. This doesn't actually make you speak louder per se, but rather it brings the low parts of your voice up so that all the tones in your voice are at the same volume level. Click OK to apply the effect. Now that we've got our voiceover fixed up, let's zoom out and take a look at all the other tracks. Notice that many of the tracks have blank spots in them. This is the way you want it, as each track only plays audio for a section of the video. When we're done, it'll all be mixed together and it won't look like this. Since most of the focus in this video will be on the voiceover, Let's take a look at the background music track that we'll be playing at the same time. Select the track by clicking on it. To start out with, we'll normalize the music, putting the track at 100% volume by pressing the N key. Now play back a section to hear if the music is too high or low. Their email address and to be able to... 
If the music is still too low, even though it's at 100%, you might consider using compression on it like we did with the voiceover. But don't get carried away. Compression can sometimes make good music sound like the music you hear on the phone when you're on hold. And that's not exactly the sound we're going for here. In this case, the music is a little overbearing, so we'll turn it down a little by clicking at the top of the track editor and using the fader to turn that track's volume down a little. Listen again. Spread and share it all over the world by way of all the- good. Notice on track 2 we have two separate sounds that play, one at the beginning and one at the end of the video. Since we want to adjust the levels of each element individually, it's a good idea if we separate these two. Select the object by clicking on it. I'm going to move the start marker just to the left of the last section and press the T key to split the two. For the next part, we're going to need snapping, so go up to your menu and make sure Snap is active and that Snap 2 is set to Objects. Now click and drag the second part to a new track all by itself and move it so that the end snaps to the end of the other tracks. You may have to zoom in a bit to get this to be exact. From here on out, just listen to each part of the video and adjust the effects like EQ, compression, reverb, and volume for each track and object to your liking. And then it's time to mix it all down. Go to your file menu, select Export Audio and click on WAVE. We'll call this file Soundtrack and we'll save it to the same folder we got the other tracks from so it's easy to find. Now go back to Movie Edit Pro. Click on the file menu and select Save Project As. We're going to save this as a new file so we don't wreck the old one. We'll name it Protect Privacy 2. Next, drag and drop the new soundtrack file at the beginning of the timeline on one of your empty tracks. Now that you've got your new improved soundtrack, you'll need to either mute or delete all the audio clips you had playing in your original video. Once you're done, export your movie and enjoy. Thanks for watching.